So, where are we going this week? Let's go to Tennessee. Hello again, I'm Nathan. You're watching Whiskey Wednesday on Wasn't My Fault. And as I said, we're off to Tennessee. Now, this isn't your normal Jack Daniels. This is called Gentleman Jack. Now, the difference with this is that it's called double mellowed, which means they put it through a filter twice. Once before they put it in barrels and once again after. The usual way is just after, I believe, I think. But anyway, they usually filter it once, which is why they get to call it Tennessee whiskey. It's something that they developed themselves to be different from bourbon. It's still bourbon, it's still made the same way. The only difference is the filtering process that they do with a carbon filter. So, hmm, this should be interesting. It's a nice bottle, very kind of, aftershave looking. Hopefully it doesn't taste like aftershave or smell like it. Oh, how does this one open? There we go. Just a bit of a good seal on it. A really, really thick. How thick that lid is. Hmm. And so that's done. Of course, I have had Jack Daniels before, as you can probably see behind me there in my bourbon section, because it is still bourbon, really. I do have a couple of other bottles of Jack Daniels, so I will do a comparison. I'll do a normal Jack Daniels at some point, and then a comparison of different ones, including a special Christmassy one. We shall see what that's like. Okay, so first of all, nice amber colour, a lot darker than a lot of Scotch tends to be, just because really being from America, they tend to get a lot darker colours a lot quicker than Scotch tends to. Warm temperatures and that sort of thing, so you get a lot more barrel effect and so on. But I'm not going to go into that. If you want to know more, Google is easy. I'm not going to try and explain it all because I'll get it wrong and sound stupid, so I'm not going to bother. Anyway. Hmm. Not a lot going on, as you'd expect. Normal kind of sweet sort of honey notes. Mm. A little bit of ethanol to it. It's mainly the honey sort of notes I'm getting from it. A little bit of fruit, not a lot, just it's mainly this kind of honey and that sort of thing. Mm. Ooh. There's more of an aftertaste than I expected from it. It's got the kind of classic. Jack Daniel sort of taste that you'd expect. Hmm. Kind of licorice-y sort of tones to it, I guess. A little bit citrusy kind of aftertaste. The aftertaste that comes more than the sort of flavour. It's kind of quite ethanol -y and the sort of just bourbon-y, I suppose. It's for lack of a better term. It does taste that kind of profile to it. So it's got the kind of honey and it's a bit of licorice. A little bit of licorice in the aftertaste. A little bit of cherry notes in the aftertaste as well, which I some bourbons have, some don't. So that's a bit, hmm, interesting. A little bit of aniseed on the nose now I've tasted it. Because sometimes, obviously, taste and smell are interlinked quite well. Hmm. Yeah, it's got the sweet notes, the licorice, a little bit of kind of cherry sort of fruitiness at the end as well. What do other people say? Anyway, what does it say on the bottle? So they say, clean soft nose with vanilla and caramel character. Flavour forward in the mouth, what flavour? Warm and short finish. That was useful. All right, masters of malt, always go to them. So what do they say? Nose, spicy nose with caramel, charred oak and a little aniseed. They got a little bit of that. Although instead of caramel, I tend more towards the honey, to be honest. So, licorice lead palette with oak and cinnamon, touch of banana. I'm going to get a banana. All right, roasty and toasty finish, plenty of spice and citrus. Yeah, so it's got the kind of, well, bourboniness to it, I guess. But it's pleasant enough. Be interesting to see how it compares with a normal Jack Daniels. It's been a while since I've had Jack Daniels meat. It tends to be one of those mixes you just have with Coke. So. Water, water, water. It is quite smooth. I will say that for it. It is easy to drink. Jack Daniels can tend to be a little bit sort of harsh and that sort of thing, but it's a lot smoother. 
as you expect for the double mellow. More of the vanilla and that sort of thing kind of mellows it out a bit more. Less licorice, more alcohol flavour, more sort of spicy bite to it at the end. It's 40% I'm assuming? Yeah, 40%. Yeah, a lot more spiciness to it with a bit of water. Hmm. That's quite interesting. It's not bad by all means. It's, you know, it's Jack Daniels. It is what you expect it to be. It tastes like a smooth bourbon, I guess you might say. I know it's not a bourbon, technically speaking, but it kind of is as well. So, meh. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, so we'll carry on as we always do and try it in different mixes. So the very, very classic Jack Daniels and Coke. Cool. I'm not pouring that the best in the world, am I? That's a weird shape bottle. Ta -da. And one for my good friend, coffee. Now, come on, just gone already. It's shameful. Okay, let's lick things up a little bit to give it a chance to get the flavours flooding. Almost put it in my coffee then. Coffee and Coke. No! Right. Make sure the ice cube wasn't stuck. And lastly, This is all over the place, very nice and kind of bitters. Righty righty. So JD and Coke. It's got that smell. I, I don't know what it is about Jack Downs and Coke, but it's just nice. It's Jack Daniels. What can you really say about it? That's all the things you like of bourbon. That's got the little bit of alcohol flavour that's sometimes lost. Slight woodiness, slight vanilla. Hmm. It's nice, it's pleasant. You know, it's something you can't go wrong with. You know what it tastes like, you're used to it. I've had my fair share of Jack Daniels and Coke when I've been out, so yeah, it's nice. Hmm. Okay. Is it better than normal Jack Daniels and Coke? Debatable. I'll have to see and compare them, find out. So stay tuned, I'll do that in another video. But yes, yeah, nice. So, with ice. Interesting. So, when you get the coldness, I always find you get the strong ethanol flavour comes through as well, straight away. It brought out the more wood. I wasn't expecting that. Because, so with the normal Jack Daniels double mellowed whatever you want to call it gentleman jack that's the name it's not that wood forward I said it's aniseed it's vanilla or caramel however you want it that little bit of kind of cherry notes and things like that in it. not a huge amount of wood there's a little bit of the sort of wood spice now something sort of but this you can actually taste the barrel you can taste the barrel wood in it and that goes from some sort of middle because it's ethanol a little bit of kind of generic bourbony flavour. And then it kind of, you get this wood tone that just kind of goes and then disappears. That's actually quite pleasant. I was not expecting that from it, to be honest. I was expecting it to just be kind of mellow, like normal. I wasn't expecting it to bring up more of the wood notes. That's actually quite an interesting one. I don't mind that. It's the one thing I always say about when you cool it down with ice and it waters it down slightly, you lose a lot of the qualities that make a whiskey interesting. But that brought out extra ones that it didn't have originally, so that's quite interesting. Hmm. Not a huge amount going on. I'm completely honest, it's a bit of alcohol to it. Um, it's really bad. It looks like woody tones in the aftertaste. 
it's pleasant enough. It's nothing that I'd go, yeah, I have to put that in my coffee. It's just okay. It, it doesn't make the coffee worse. It improves some things. Less bitterness, again, which is strange to find that whiskey actually makes black coffee less bitter. But that's interesting. I don't mind that at all. So, yeah, interesting. So, let's try a cocktail. Mm. Yeah. Again, the stronger sort of bourbon flavours can shine through the bitterness, whereas a lot of scotch tends to be more mellow and nuanced and you have like the, the kind of different waves of different flavours you can pick out. Bourbon, apologies to bourbon lovers out there, tends to be more you have this, 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 and it's kind of steady but slightly higher level of flavours, I tend to find anyway. Whereas mm, so sort of whiskey can go up and down, you get this flavour there and this flavour there. And it's a, it's a lot more to look for. Bourbon tends to be a little bit more simple. Not saying that's a bad thing, because the flavours it's got kind of push their way into it. It's like, oh yeah, I can tell that's a bourbon, it's got these flavours. That's what you get with an old-fashioned, with a bourbon rather than with a scotch, is that you get those strong flavours coming through and it tastes like bourbon. It doesn't just taste like uh, you've got some syrup and some bitters and some ice. You can taste that it's got bourbon in it. I think that's what makes the old fashioned work with bourbon and not so much with scotch, is just the the stronger flavours show through a lot more. Hmm. That's not a bad old fashioned, I don't mind that. It keeps more bitter. Some of the, mm, again, some of the bourbons have more cherry notes and it sweetens it up a little bit more. This doesn't, this keeps it quite bitter, which is odd when the coffee lost its bitterness, but it keeps it quite bitter, slightly more alcoholy. It's pleasant. I don't mind it at all. Hmm. Decent. Back to the original one. Hmm. I'm picking up a lot more sort of fruity cherry and stuff after having all the different mixes. Hmm. A lot sweeter smelling. It's more caramelly now than... Because before it was mainly vanilla, but I'm getting more sort of caramel tone. So it's a lot deeper, richer than kind of honey, which is just kind of like... A light sweetness. This is quite a heavy sweetness now. Have to have everything else, which shows what you drink and eat before you taste something will influence how it tastes and smells. That's interesting. More citrusy. So there's more kind of lemony tones on the back end of it. Hmm. That's quite interesting. I don't mind that at all. That's, it's slightly better than normal Jack Downs. I wouldn't say it's a huge difference from my recollection of it anyway, but it's been a while since I've had Jack Daniels, so yeah, I'll have to do that soon. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Please come again next week when I'll have something else. I don't know yet. I've got a few different things on my shelf that I haven't opened yet, so I'll have to try something else. And I will do a Jack Daniels episode of about four Jack Daniels? Yeah, four different Jack Daniels, so keep an eye out and I'll do that one as a special for kind of winter because one of them is a Christmassy edition so we shall see. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe and like and comment. I hope you've got us. I wouldn't mind reading some comments for change. So anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.